As usual, it is best to do price analysis before time analysis. The main feature here is support around the 70 price level and likely drop down 3 retracement levels to the 0.5 Fibonacci level. Since the past few years had flatter price action and the current downtrend has frequent minor swing points, a short base trend is preferred. Point 3 is at the normal first position where the first retracement of the new trend begins. Since this is a progressing downtrend, the main events of interest are bearish continuations and bullish reversals, rather than bullish continuations and bearish reversals. Theoretically, there is greater support potential in November from the high concentration of intersections. This is true with bullish candles temporarily pausing the drop, but the bearish context is more than sufficient to break lower with increasing selling volume. Simple price action and volume show decreasing selling pressure and a declined triple bottom. These features coincide with interval 2 starting December with increasing focus on a developing bullish reversal on the 0.618 retracement level. As the uptrend progresses, the events of interest are bearish reversals and bullish continuations. At interval 2.382 and the intersection with the trend lines in mid-December, consistent bearish volume is almost absent as moderate bullish volume establishes a mostly neutral to slightly bullish stance to end 2019. This once again demonstrates the importance of observing price analysis in addition to the intervals. A similar situation takes place towards March to overcome the upper downtrend line intersection which is an excellent substitute for the absence of interval lines after interval 3. Now there is the choice to try and expand the intervals to cover periods further into the future. Various swing points from the start of the downtrend in combination with the old base trend are poor choices, not only because they don't extend intervals further to the right, the context is mostly effective for the downtrend and early stages of the uptrend until early 2017. The use of a shorter base trend and earlier retracement allowed for the targeting of interval lines with important stages in the downtrend. Most notable is the 0.382 interval and the peak downswing. This produced highly reliable short-term intervals to identify possible times for bearish continuations and bullish retracements for most of the downtrend. Since the newer uptrend into 2017 had less frequent and minor swing points, it was possible to use the longer base trend duration of the entire downtrend. The declined triple bottom presents possible points to place point 3 of the new trend-based Fibonacci time zone to cover the 2017 uptrend. Here is a case where moving point 3 is a viable option to move intervals further into the future without switching to a new base trend. It is still a valid and reliable choice since interval lines still run through many clear swing points and continuations. Similar to other examples, a pattern like an ascending triangle provides suitable conditions for the use of a Fibonacci extension and a trend-based Fibonacci time zone. This first choice of a base trend and retracement is quite valid and reliable since it covers many clear features in the double top, double bottom, and ascending triangle. The drawback is it will only be useful for two more interval lines. Significant events 
of interest following the Ascending Triangle completion are still bullish continuations and bearish reversals approaching the 1.618 extension level, except now new time analysis will have to be applied. Unlike a Fibonacci extension covering price on the y-axis, a trend-based Fibonacci time zone will be greatly affected when the slightly higher downswing and upswing points are chosen. The results are quite good even when a more bearish to neutral phase starts at the end of 2019. The uptrend lines help narrow the time range of the sharp drop reversing near the 2 interval. The 1.618 and 2 intervals near the 104 price range don't cover any significant events near the default extension levels chosen. However, this is normal. As seen in other examples, not all intervals will cover significant events, and they still did identify minor reversals where the optional 1.272 and 1.414 extension levels would be if they were selected. Once the August peak near 112 was clearly developed, it was possible to target an interval line through this landmark with a trend-based Fibonacci time zone based on older price action within and before the ascending triangle, a shorter base trend and the same retracement before the ascending triangle break was a poor choice because of the less frequent swing points after the ascending triangle and the inability to capture any major swing points or continuations before or during the peak around 112. Naturally, the clear points from the low of the smaller ascending triangle and double bottom to the peak at the 1.618 extension level, along with the first upswing in the downtrend, were clear features for more recent context. This allowed for valid and reliable coverage of the volatile neutral phase towards 2021.